Where is the next one? I think it may be in... No. There it is. Now, some of the more interesting things you will notice about this world is that they have some modern influences in them. When I say modern things, I mean, look, there is a modern guitar and a damn speaker. Modern day speaker, not a normal speaker. Uh, I guess this is symbolism for uh, maybe perhaps the fact that it could happen in real life. I mean, again, ooh, play with your pipe. Like, say for example, you know, misunderstandings and confusions can happen every single day and um, we have to be careful to not let our mis- our- oh, what was the word I'm looking for? Let our, our preconceived judgments base what our life will be like. Otherwise, being spurned by the man she loves will end in him being beheaded yet again. Or at least, you know, that's just the only rational I can come up with. I'm sure Freud would have some wonderful conversations about that. And, um, yay! Hi! You're not very pretty unless the candle's on you. Then you, you're, you're semi-decent. The light doesn't... Oh, okay, there you go, you blinked. Woo! Playing with the veils. Woo! Now, you do have a matchbook, which is also rather modern. Um, you do also have headphones hanging from your necklace. Interesting, huh? Well, there's something even more breaking than that, but we'll come back to that. And, for the gentlemen, hello, boys. Ooh! Totally not wearing a shirt. Um, alright, down here is the next one, as we can see. Any words of wisdom? Suffer me? Touch my. Oh, okay, so this is her going. Be with me, I love you. Oh, yeah, it is another interesting thing that I noticed both this time and last time. Well, there's a cork and some wine glasses that we no longer want. And wine all over the table, spilt wine. But pomegranates. Perhaps just symbolize a descent into hell. I mean, like, you know, if you think about it in terms of the Persephone. Um, or Persephone, whichever pronunciation you prefer, um, with the seeds of, you know, that made her stay in hell for six, six months of the year, which is why it is, you know, it's summer half the year and it's cold her. Wait, wait, wait. Now they're all too whispering too much to actually work out what they're saying. So let's extinguish this Aladdin's lamp next to the bed. Um, things of note, there is a ring here with uh, the skull. It's the same pattern as the door, so no real point in looking up close to it. Another thing, though, is there is a pearl on the bed. And as you can see, it is too small to match this bedspread. Which makes... Oh, I kind of just threw it away. Whoops. Which makes you wonder, of course, why? Why is there a pearl just hanging in the bed? Or maybe is it a symbolic pearl to say that she, uh, she gave it away, finally? Oh, and as you can see, our, our friend the guard is here. Uh, this light is attached to a matchbook, which, uh, when we get close to it... It is like a what? No, sorry, can't make you out. You're a crazy woman. Alright, here we go. The matchbook says, Salome, 565-0050, call me. Mm. And there is a green flower, which is completely unnatural because there is no flower that is green. Um, because otherwise it would just be more stem, wouldn't it? And um, a lovely sword, which is propped up in a way that isn't touching the floor at all. 
over a pool of blood. Oh yeah. Oh, apparently middle button to zoom in at the because look, you can see all the beautiful, delicate detail that they put into this sword. Spectacular, isn't it? Can't see the wall though. Can I? Can I see the book? Yeah. Well, you can see it. Salome number. Call me. Um. Oh, it looks like the next one is actually by it in this little side room that also has a veil in it. Maybe this is where she dropped her first veil. Or maybe it's where she dropped her last. No. You're talking too much over yourself there, dear. Here's the key of what? Apparently there's some sort of key. There isn't really in the game, but obviously she keeps saying it. Otherwise they wouldn't keep going on and on and on about it. I'm just gonna check. Recording? Yes. I'm sorry that I keep saying are we still recording, but like I said, like I played the game for a long time and then it turned out that it wasn't recording some of it. So just bear with me if I occasionally go, I'm just going to check if this is recording. Hopefully, hopefully. I would say, you know, I'd get it in post, but as you can see, the game kind of skips around. Ooh, what's this one going to do? You kiss her. Okay, I, c I couldn't quite understand what her exact phrasing, but I, I believe it's if I kiss his lips, maybe he'll come back to life or something like that. Ooh. Exciting. You know, she's got some weird wishes, this woman. Alright, the other one is. Okay, the next one is up here with her. I'm coming, lady! Oh, it's your matchbook. Suffer me, kiss my mouth. Oh, we get an even better shot of her boobies. Hey, lady! I believe this. Oh, see, now you can see her earbuds quite more clearly. And um, she is wearing a shirt, it's just not at all covering up the ladies. And look, we can take off her veil. Actually, I think we need to be at a different light. Um, a different point to take off her veil, but it is movable. We can completely remove that from her and um, her pretty flower. Oh well, no, I didn't mean that flower, but <laughs> and a pretty flower, but not that flower. Oh, here it is. It's over here. Come on, swellies. Tell me what to do. What? Something about the best. It is quite picturesque. Looking at her from down here. Setting fire to her veils. <laughs> I really wish the veils did just burn. Alright. It would make them much more interesting if they did. Oh, and that bird wasn't in game. That's just. It was just. Ambient effects at my own house. Alright, let's put this light out. It would be nice if we could have seen my body, you know, like underneath the grate, but uh, even when you do die underneath the grate, it's, you know, it's never there later because I totally tried that the first time. I died under the grate because I was trying to look up at the time that the guy came in and killed me, but the body still wasn't there afterwards. Alright, oh, it's up here. Hello? Salam? As you can see we're getting quite populated in our numbers. Oh yeah, did I not mention that there is a freaky woman here who just... Like, if you look at everyone else... Well, obviously he's gonna stand still and she's kind of deep in thought, but she's... She's breathing, she's moving. This woman is doing nothing. This woman is literally just... No. No, I deny you. Oh, here we go. Off you go, Vale. 
Now you might be wondering, what is that glowing at her hip? Oh, she's got a cigarette. That's a cigarette holder. Quite a fancy looking one as well. There's a pomegranate and I got rid of it. Uh, hey Johnny Baptist. How you hanging? How hangeth the hammer? Not at all anymore. But yeah. Um, as you can see, this, this woman just denies us. So, so much denial. Alright. Let's pop up here so we can... We'll do this one first, but I think you might be able to see my point of contempt. I'm sorry already, but afterwards. Something's being knighted? Let's put out... Let's de-extinguish this flame. Woo! Hey, Kingy. Kingy's not there. Kingy there! Kingy not there. Kingy there! And a pretty flower. And, um... Well, quite a modern, uh, cleaning rack. Well, drying rack, if you'd ask me. But it also sort of... Oh, and there's, I forgot to mention the very pretty bubbles. But there does appear to be a book in there, so it could be a very ancient, uh, book holder. But it's always so hard to tell. Can I actually zoom in on what I want to look at, please? Look at the king! Look at the king! Why won't you look at the king? Okay, here we go. Hello, kingy! Very pretty place you've got here. Ooh. All right. Point of contempt. All right, let's actually turn around so we can see this more properly. Point of contempt. Salome. Ah, I should probably put this into zoom. And a bit further up. She has an iPod. She has an iPod. And it's on, obviously, because she's... Even though she hasn't got headbuds in... See, look, cord goes up and everything. The light is on. And you can kind of hear the, the, the whispers still. And then some sort of serene music that she had going on is completely gone now. Hey, lady, I like the look. No. I will not be that cruel. Um, but yeah, she has an iPod. I consider this greatly offensive to Stallone legend for her. Okay, yeah, go up, go up in the world. Hey. Um, where's the next one? Is it these one? No. As you can see, we're just gonna float around until we find the. Oh, here it is, it's over here. Hi, Godman. Sorry, we need to extinguish your, your flame. No flame's a passion for you. Something, something about killing. Kill him for- oh, will you kill him for me? Now, I don't know if this dude's just supposed to be some sort of guard. Ooh. I don't know if he's just supposed to be some sort of guard or if he's actually the, uh, man she danced for, but considering how black and covered up he is, I'm gonna say he's just some guard. Makes you wonder where the actual dude is. You know, considering this is his place not actually around. Kind of odd and obscure if you ask me. 